Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about my favorite uh, Dark Poison Pokemon for the Nightmare Cup uh, which is going to be Drapion. Uh, Drapion uh, it recommends that you run the move Infestation. You can also run the move Bite if you want to be able to deal uh, more damage, uh, dark move damage in a very short period of time, especially against Psychic Pokemon. The unfortunate downside of Bite is that it generates energy very slowly so you're not going to be able to spam those uh, charges very quickly. Uh, but uh, with Infestation Bug, you're going to be able to generate energy very quickly, but you're going to yield not a lot of damage. Uh, so you're going to be able to spam uh, moves like Aqua Tail, uh, which are only 35 energy, so you're going to be able to spam a lot of Aqua Tails uh, against your opponent. And they also recommend that you run the second move as Crunch, uh, so that you're able to deal with those second Pokemon more effectively. You can also run Sludge Bomb, but I find Crunch is going to be more more used more often than, than Sludge Bomb. Uh, in terms of key matchups, uh, you beat Shiftry, Spirit Tomb, Zatu, Bronzon, and then Skunk Tank in the one shield scenario. And then you lose, you get hard countered by uh, all the fighting Pokemon like Lucario, Hitmonchan, Poliwrath, Toxicrow, and Machoke, amongst other fighting Pokemon. So it does very well against the second Pokemon, so it deals um, in terms of that, that situation quite well. Uh, maybe not as well as other dark Pokemon, but um, since since it has the poison subtyping, uh, it does make uh, psychic moves like Confusion only single resisted as opposed to double. Uh, and then, but does put up a decent fight uh, against uh, some of its uh, uh, strongest counters like Toxicrow, uh, like like him on Chan uh, with the ability to spam Aqua Tails, and as well, you're going to be able to generate energy very quickly uh, with Infestation. So, anyways, I put a tweet out asking people to send me challenges. Uh, so let's see how this goes here. So I'm going to be demonstrating the use of Drapion as a lead here. I also like using it as a as a switch in Pokemon since it has a lot of flexibility. But okay, seems like we found another uh, Drapion enthusiast. So looks like he, let's see here what he's running. Looks like it's also Infestation. I think yeah I didn't see any bite I can't imagine anyone's gonna run poison sing oh maybe it's not all right maybe he's gonna hit me with something else aqua tail all right I'm gonna hit another aqua tail here and then whoever gets to the last aqua tail is going to win this mirror match so you can see, just see how quickly these Aqua Tails are coming. They're just it's pretty, pretty nuts. Oh, hopefully we can get to this. Um, I am going to shield here. I do value knowing the order of their Pokemon quite a bit. And hopefully I can get one more Aqua Tail off. I expect the fighting Pokemon to come out. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Another dark poison. And we're going to spam. And now we're on even shields. Okay. And I'm going to come in here with uh, Toxicroak here. I expect this to be acid spray. Uh, people love to do acid spray uh, <laughs> meta here. So I do have to be careful of the uh, switch in. Uh, with the confusion user, especially now that shields are down. You know, clade all. Okay, I still have a shield up, so I should be okay to get to this shadow ball here. Um, it's probably gyro ball. Oh, no, it's earthquake. Ooh, okay, that's okay. I'm still good though. I want to save my shield for Hypno is very tanky. I want to be able to faint this thing here. And then I'm going to hit Shadow Ball here. Even though I could probably get to the Focus Blast since it's probably running. Um, but it looks like I'll be okay here. And then I'm just going to hit this Mud Bomb here. 
my defense is lower. But I'm just gonna charge a fast move. Let's move it down, and we're we're good here. Uh, so I do value uh, the ability to see their Pokemon uh, in a particular order, so I can uh, pick my Pokemon then then mirror them appropriately. Obviously, if he ran three Dark Poisons, then <laughs> then I would have been in trouble there. But we'll do another match here. In this match, I'm gonna I am going to lead with Toxicro. And then I'm going to have Hypno in the back. So there's a lot of um, interesting strategies. Um, one I'll demonstrate a little bit later, um, where you don't necessarily follow the general convention of uh, one fighting, one psychic, uh, one dark uh, Pokemon. In this case, they ran two dark Pokemon, uh, dark poisons, which have a little bit more flexibility uh, compared to their uh, a lot of dark Pokemon. So, okay, we're... <laughs> <laughs> Mirror match again. All right. Why not? I do have to be careful of the confusion user switching. So. They might be preparing for the overcharge. So let's see here who's going to win this. Now both shields are down. I have to be careful this switch in. Mm. All right, that's fine. Um, I'm going to have to come hypno here. Uh, I could come Drapion. But Hypno, pretty good. And then this Focus Blast should KO. All right. Okay, this is actually one of my worst matchups here. Unfortunately, this is not going to go well for Drapion. Because this Power Punch is going to hurt. Ooh, double Fighting Stride is interesting. It's going to be close, but but um, yeah, not, not a good demonstration. Well, I guess good demonstration of one of the hard counters uh, to Drapion, which is uh, Lucario, as we can as we can see here. But it still did a decent amount of damage. If I was able to get like two more confusions off, um, or if I switched in, more, mm, if I switched in, that might have been better for me. Mm. I do. I would have had to be careful with the shadow ball, though. Okay, let's see here if we can demonstrate the use of Drapion better here. Lucario is definitely one of the tougher matchups. Polyrath, all right. So Polyrath against Toxicro. Toxicro does have a favorable matchup against it, so. Um, let's see if he goes here. Power Punch or Ice Punch. Power Punch. All right. Let's see if he shields here. He does. Okay. I am going to mirror this shield here. Ice Punch. And come on, bomb here. I'm assuming he's not going to shield at this point. All right, and he's going to come with the confusion user. Oh, 
Okay, that's perfectly fine. This is where Drapion can shine. I am going to shield here. Aerial Ace. And then I am going to bait here. Oh. Okay. I do have like pretty big energy generation lead here. But I am down to shield, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully I can hit one more Aqua Tail. And then I should be in a okay-ish. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Flamethrower. Alright, that's actually probably not good for me. Um, even if they hit the crunch against me here, I should be okay. Because I'm going to KO this. And then come with a Shadow Ball here. And then KO this is that too. So you can see uh, Drapion, a lot of flexibility. Yeah, put a lot of pressure on the Skunk Tank, um, which allowed me to come in with Hypno and be able to generate just enough energy. And then as well, not allowed to get the second charge move off. Okay, cool, cool, um, yeah, pretty, pretty good, I like this meta a lot, there's a lot of really interesting Pokemon, like Zatu is a psychic Pokemon, uh, but uses flying moves mostly, and has actually has, like, no psychic moves in its, uh, meta move pool, like, in terms of the moves that you should be using, um, I don't even know what its third charge move is, um, Whatever it is, but and then like Alone Raichu and then Hypno with Shadow Ball and Focus Blast, um, really nice. And then obviously Drapion with Aqua Tail uh, gives a lot of really nice coverage. Infestation as Bug moves, a lot of really interesting like uh, non non not non either non stab moves like Infestation Bug or Aqua Tail or like its other subtyping that's not uh, generally the focus of the cup. So here a favorable matchup here let's see they're probably gonna just build up a bunch of energy here I am gonna go for the charge move here okay I am gonna shield here air lace I expect the switch in I'm going to shield here and then go for this crunch to finish it off. And now we have no shields down, but you see here with uh, crunch, I was able to deal with it quite effectively. Hopefully, I can get off one more Aqua Tail. That would be amazing if I could. Ooh, I was able to get it off. Nice. It's not going to do a lot of damage to. Polyrath, but I'll take any uh, little bit of damage here. And Polyrath is not a big threat to Hypno at all. So let's see what he comes out with. Oh, Skunk Tank. I'm going to get hit by Flamethrower here, but that's perfectly fine. And it's going to get rid of it here. I'm not too worried on Polyrath generating a lot of energy. This is actually not even a KO. And basically, 
one uh, one confusion away from uh, this ice punch is gonna hurt a little bit but not a ton and then we're gonna go shit over the shadow ball here and there you go pretty good um, demonstration of Drapion. Drapion's ability to to get to the crunch very quickly is what allowed it to win the matchup against uh, against Satu. It's actually a little closer than I thought. Um, obviously, I should have shield baited better with uh, Aqua Tail. Um, and then I guess they would have shield baited with Ominous Wind, but... That's quite all right. Okay, let's wait for this next challenge to, to come through. It should come after all these notifications here. There you go. I changed the subscriber count. Someone said that was kind of cringy to watch the live. I was just doing that because I was trying to grind my way towards my goal of 10,000 subscribers. But hmm. next thing I want to work on is getting a better mic because like my audio is like it's not that great. So hopefully I can improve it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions uh, for mics that I should be getting. Um, I also want a portable mic. Um, I can also record on my phone. I'm actually recording on my phone sounds really good, except for like I can't do this whole setup here since like I guess I could if I got like the appropriate equipment. So, oh, am I gonna see the countdown? Yeah, I am. All right. So this is an okay matchup here. It is gonna beat me to this thunder punch here. So I'm gonna shield here. Alone right here has like a lot of flexibility in terms of the meta. And here I'm going to switch to Drapion to build up a bunch of energy here. Even if it hits me with a Thunder Punch here. It's actually, I should have hit the Aqua Tail. I don't know why. I guess it went for Wild Charge, which made sense. Okay. And then I'm just going to spam these Aqua Tails here. And then I'm just gonna come with Hypno here. I probably should have waited at the clock a little more. Oh, I am okay. All right. Hopefully, I can get to this Focus Blast before this foul play kills me. And I can. So I like Hypno in the. Oh, I guess that's not enough. Ooh, probably building up for two, or at least one. I gotta KO this thing quickly. Um, should survive this, especially if it's a Dark Pulse. If his last resort would be a little closer. All right, actually don't know how you're supposed to play that Toxic Crow. Um, alone, right you set up here let's lead with Drapion seeing the one and two shield scenario end up losing the two shield scenario which is why I switched out uh, into Drapion um, I should have finished it with Aqua Tail because um, I had a chance there um, all right, so this is not a good matchup here. I 
I'm going to spam these. <laughs> Mm. Do I survive this? I'm gonna guess I'm gonna survive. I'm just gonna build up a bunch of energy here. All right, which is fine. I, could, I probably should have at the clock a little more. But it doesn't necessarily really matter. Um, ooh, last resort. Okay, makes sense. I'm gonna build up a bunch of energy here so I can spam it. Hopefully, I can KO before the next one. All right, and then just gonna spam. I can spam one mud bomb. Actually, spam two mud bombs. Okay, I'm gonna spam the second mud bomb here because I have the energy built up already. And let's see. What comes left? Who alone writes you? Let's switch the drapey on here to be able to spam this aqua tail here before it gets to wild charge. And that's the advantage of like this drapey on. It just gets in, it gets the charge move so quickly um, that you're able to come in and just finish it off with no shields down, especially for a squishier Pokemon like, uh, Alolan Raichu. All right. I'll wait for these, um, invites to come in. In the meantime, I'll catch these Pokemon around me. Not shiny. Nope, oh, terrible throw. Oh man, I'm awful at throwing. Just casually doing this while I wait for a battle invite. Actually, I'll just send it out. We'll come talk to her here. Let's see if anyone's messaging me something. Sent. Oh, okay. It looks like a bunch of people are sending. Okay, I will go in order. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, I'm sending to you now. Okay. Hopefully. And then I'll send to our Dark Paladin in the next 30 seconds if it doesn't work. Doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, but you can see how Drapion. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Right on cue. Uh, so our Dark Paladin, very talented trainer. Okay, again, favorable matchup for me. They're gonna get to power up punch or ice punch. Before. This is gonna be power up punch. Probably should just go for a mud bomb to be honest, because this is a, this is almost always a shield here. Oh, okay, never mind. All right. 
bronze on. Can I get to this mud bomb? Ah, I cannot get to this mud bomb. It's all right. We're gonna come drapey on here. And we're gonna shield here. I probably didn't need to shield that heavy slam, but I probably should be doing. Uh, let's see if they shield. They do. I should beat it to this crunch here. Select another shield. Nope, no shield to come up. All right. Umbreon. All right. It's an okay matchup here. I see you need to take out enough health here. I'm gonna save this shield for my hypno. Uh, all right. If I had sludge bomb, this is where it actually would do way more damage to to Umbreon. But let's see if I can squeeze out one last Aqua Tail. And I don't even have to get to focus less now. I'm not going to shield here. All I have to do here is get to this shadow ball. In, in theory, I can survive another dark move as well. No, whatever, I'm just gonna go for the shadow ball. Oh, I had the focus blast ready. <laughs> Hopefully, this is enough. I really should know this. Okay, certainly not enough, but this is not gonna fade me anyway, so I'm not too worried. I should have went for focus blast, so go for the win, especially like I had like kind of leeway there, especially I knew I could survive a charge move, but. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Um, I should look that up though. Let's see if I can look this up. Hypno, Umbreon. Okay, again, favorable matchup for me. Ooh, okay, nice switch in. I'm gonna come Hypno here. Again, I'm not worried about any of um, Polyrath's particular moves. And I'm just gonna build up energy here. I'm gonna hit by one more Ice Punch here. Pretty much it. Let's see what comes in. I expect a dark Pokemon to come in. Okay, well. Oh man. I should have uh should have just hit the <laughs> shadow ball right away as soon as I saw. I have a lot of energy built up here, so. You can get to another shadow ball here. Nice, okay, so worth it. I'm just gonna stick this out here, even though I probably shouldn't. I'll have to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to shield here. Ominous win. Could have gambled there, but. Doesn't matter. Ooh, nice switch. You know, I'm gonna gamble here. I'm just gonna faint with uh, fast moves. I should survive this. Sludge bomb. And then I can just hit uh, sludge bomb here. 
Ooh, he actually got the boost. Nice. All right, GG there. Um, nice switches, nice switches there. Um, twice on me. All right, let's take a look here. How much does uh, Shadow Ball do against Umbreon? Not a lot. 25. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, okay. Looks like they're going to sleep. All right. I'm going to send it to Inkwell Lavatan. I think I've tried this a few times. Tell him I'm sending. He's probably out grinding right now. Looks like he's picking his team. And I'll just tell this person I'll send in six minutes. All right. Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I battled Scott already. Or did I? I can't remember. why they didn't work let's see if he's messaged okay now he's gonna come in with him now <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking to get me on that switch. I find the switch works better when there's no shield because like him knows very good at dealing with um, I should have been counting. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. Uh, but that's okay. He's gonna come talk to Kurt. He's gonna be very close to my bomb here. Hopefully, I can get one more Aqua Tail off. Nice. I'm hoping he does Mud Bomb. Okay, that's good for me. So he came in. I'm gonna come in Hypno here. I probably can't get to a... Ooh, I can. To a Focus Blast here. That's why Hypno is so deadly. crazy him know with its amazing coverage uh, can beat oh, so much of the meta it's crazy all right let's hit rematch here oh, I'm curious on against skunk tank 
especially with like a little bit of energy advantage. Um, okay, so. Shield here. Is this too early? For, oh no, there's that. I should have shielded, but I'm gonna just barely lose this matchup. He's gonna hit me with a crunch here. Actually, I kind of favor. I could have finished him off with infestation. That's like probably what I should have done. He's gonna hit me with night slash though, which is gonna hurt, but not enough, I guess. Hopefully. Oh man, I'm in a terrible position here. Oh shoot, oh man, what the hell did I do that switch for? Well, that was a dumb move. <laughs> that was a very dumb move. Okay, let's see here. He's gonna hit Night Slash before I can. Oh no, he has a shield. He has all shield. <laughs> okay, well, that was a dumb move. I thought I had Drapion still. Okay. Very poor execution on my part. So, GG there. Uh, what I should have done, I should have mirrored with, um, with Toxic Grove versus uh, Primate, as opposed to coming with the weakness. So, anyways. Just running these different lineups uh, is uh, not what I want to do. Mirror. Yeah, I wasn't keeping track of. Okay, let me tell him that I'm going to be sending. Right. Uh, yeah, I should have came, especially since Tokuro has a favorable matchup against um, Primate. Um, that's what I should have done. And then there's almost nothing that beats. Um, I think he has cross shot. Yeah, all I need to do is hit a uh, wind mud bomb. Okay, well, it's not good for me. Oh man, come on, get out of there, get out of there. Very poor switch on my part, but that's okay. I just want to be able to burn these shields. Um, I'm not gonna do this. Ooh, dynamic punch, interesting. I'm gonna wait up the clock a little bit here. Oh, 
Oh, he has bite on his. Uh, see how devastating this this thing is here. I'm just gonna shield here. Uh, let's see how this plan goes. This is basically my only shot here. Nice switch. Which health is oh god, my hypno does not have a lot of health left. Alright, this is I'm gonna lose this one. But Ooh, I'm not sure why he did that. Oh, Oh my gosh! I can't even... <laughs> if I was, if it wasn't bite, bite is just so devastating. It's so quick. That was close. GG there. But you see, like Drapion, even during, even against Toxicroak, um, was a uh, uh, was like doing really well. Especially like people that it's very very hard to switch um, with a very slow, fast move of like. Um, or a very long duration fast move like uh, confusion so then oftentimes people are very slow to switch uh, which means that you can you can get off a lot of infestation okay drapeon versus drapeon so they're talking about like bite versus like you know oh Oh, he's using a bite variant. Okay. I should have the upper hand in this particular situation. I'm going to spam these Aqua Tails. He's going to have his Aqua Tail off here. Yep. Oh, he's getting a crunch off. Interesting. And I'm going to try to energy farm this down. And then spam a bunch of Aqua Tails here. Ooh, Polyrath. Okay. That too, all right. Shadow ball here. Don't necessarily need to shield this. Is probably you need dynamic punch or ice punch. All right, GG there. You can see Drapion when it's like bite versus infestation, it's like a pretty one-sided match. Um, okay, let me send this out to Madison. We're just going through a bunch of battles here. Just cranking through these battles. Um, hopefully, Madison accepts. I'm not sure if Madison is on. I should set up a Discord. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I set up a Discord? Um, probably easier to communicate uh, in these particular situations so we can go back and forth.
All right, uh, I think that's all the battles I'm going to show. As you can see, Drapion does really well against like Pokemon like like Zatu, like Hypno. Um, also, um, um, it, it also has like a lot of um, flexibility against like Pokemon that it's generally really weak to, um, like especially against Toxtro, uh, especially on the Switch in where it's able to sort already has a lot of energy generated already. Should be able to get off uh, two Aqua Tails. Um, if it's able if the person's a little bit slower on switching from hypno or zatu because of the long duration uh fast moves of of air slash and confusion uh, which means that you're going to be able to do a lot of damage and really weaken weaken the toxicro and if you end up shielding you could potentially beat it beat the toxicro or burn burn another shield um which actually provides a lot of good compensation uh for uh, for a direct counter to it which is i expect toxicro to be the, the most common fighting pokemon and I think it's the overall uh, best one. Uh, but again, um, it, let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be using uh, Drapion in your team of six for your Nightmare Cup. And let me know when your Nightmare Cup uh, tournament is going to be. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below, and I'll see everyone in the next video.